Coming up, we have another episode of Lessons on the Link. It was a hot, beautiful day at the Thunder Bay Resort in Hillman. Golf lovers, here's a chance for you to improve your game. So just make sure you lean on your left side and hit the grass. Perfect, all right. So welcome to episode two of Lessons on the Link. Episode one, we worked on hitting the iron, and now we'll be working on one of the more technical shots in episode two. It's a good shot. I hope you're ready. So if you haven't guessed it yet, we're working on shipping today. And once again, I have John with me, John Kazuski. How are you doing? Thank you for having us. So can you tell our viewers what type of club you should use to get a good chipping shot? Today we're going to start out using the sand wedge. Um, I prefer that because it has a lot of loft, therefore easier to get the ball up and onto the green. All right, so there you have it. Now we're going to work on hitting the ball. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is still talk about the grip a little bit. The grip should be very light. And that is because you want to be able to feel the weight of the end of the club because that's what's ultimately going to hit the grass and help you get the ball in the air. So light grip. From there, I'm going to put my feet together. I'm going to take a little bigger step left, a little step right. It's going to put the ball back in your stance just a little bit. Now here's one key also. I like to have my feet open a little bit or a little left of the target. We do this because it lets you see the line a little bit better. It also allows you to get the ball in the air a little bit easier too. From there, we will start talking about what we do just before we take our swing. I want you to think of your hands in the handle leaning left. They call this a, a hinge or a forward press. And I also want you to feel like your body is leaning against the wall. And I'm starting right from my shoulders right down to my left foot. And the big key now is I'm going to take a small swing. I want to continue feeling like I'm leaning against that wall even when I make my back swing. I'm doing this to make sure that I strike the ball first and then the grass afterwards. This is much like the irons last week, but it's very important to hit the grass. So step one was the pre-shot, and now we're actually gonna get into the swing a little bit. And uh, John, take over. Okay, so we talked about what to do in our setup. Now we just wanna make sure that when we take our swing, we are trying to match a backswing and a follow through. One thing I see that causes people trouble is if they take a real big swing sometimes and they decelerate and they take a little swing through or they stab the club into the ground. It's gonna dig right in. Right. You need to match up those two swings. And finally with that swing, you wanna to try to hold on and don't let that club, the club head, go in front of your hands too quickly. They call this break in the wrist. You, you, do, you don't want to see that happen. You want to try to hold, and if you watch my hands and the handle, I'm trying to hold on to that finish like I'm pulling through with my left hand right now. So I've got, I've got the steps down. Exactly. Keep the lean. Feel like your left hand is pulling towards the target. Now I just want to make sure that when I take my swing, that I do hit the grass. You're always better off to hit grass. If you could hear that, it made kind of a muffled sound. It was a combination of hearing the ball and the grass. If you just hear the ball, that's the shot that comes out really low and rolls too far. So chipping has some very quick steps to it. John, what would you say the steps were? You know, the first thing I look at is, of course, the grip, and then that leads into where you put the ball position. Yep. And then from there, Focus on leaning left, keeping your hands left, and then make sure you hit the grass when you make your swing. All right, there you have it. So we're gonna end this on a quick little competition. John, little wager here. Closest ball to the hole wins? Sure. All right. Oh, you got me. That was a good shot. <laughs> that was a good shot. Well, John, thank you for having us. That is another episode of Lessons on the Lincoln. I'm a tip. <laughs> Join us next time.